Hello everyone. In the last video, we uh, took a look at uh, how uh, Nick Teaming works, what it is, and now we are going to configure Nick Teaming on Windows Server 2012 R2 using PowerShell. I'm uh, now on my Hyper-V host and I will use this uh, VM which in the past was named with my standard which uh, is not that great for PowerShell so I rename it to HV01 in this VM I have two network adapters and uh, one thing we have to do before going uh, on the VM and configuring Nick Teaming is that we have to set the network adapters to allow Nick Teaming and this command should solve this problem and uh, it will as soon as I open a PowerShell as uh, administrator and after you run this command we can also take a look on each network card in uh, advanced features we should see that uh, now Nick Teaming is enabled for the first one and it should be also for the second one so we can go on the machine and uh, start working with these two adapters so now i'm on my virtual machine and i'm uh, directly uh, through the hyper v console because when we will be configuring nick teaming i will lose connection to this machine since i'm not using two external switches each linked to each uh, uh, nick in the vm it will not actually work so the team will not function but all the commands uh, are testable in a, a VM and with the first command let's get a list of our network adapters on this server and you see we have two of them in a, a VM you can only team two with this command you can get a list of all your teams which now will be zero we don't have any team configured yet but with the next command uh, we will actually do it so with net uh, new net lbfo team we can specify a name which is public team we also specify a name for the nick interface of the team team one uh, the teaming mode is switch independent and the two members are Ethernet and Ethernet free, as you see here. And since I am not specifying which uh, load uh, algorithm is used, it will use dynamic. This is the default. Let's create our team. Now the team you see is uh, created. And uh, if we run the get net lbfo team it will show us the same thing we can also get a list of team interfaces either for all our teams or for a specific one let's uh, in this case let's get everything and here you go this is the team interface team one We can also modify, for example, if you, we want a specific nick to be standby and not active, we can uh, use this command to modify this value. So we set uh, net lbfo team member. And as you see, we want ethernet free from team public team to be standby. And now it's standby. We can also get a list of team members. And we have our two Ethernet uh, cards, active and standby, as you can see. Let's set Ethernet free to active again, which is very simple to do. So we brought it back to active state. We can also remove uh, an, uh, a nick from our team with uh, remove net LBFO team member. So now our team has only Ethernet uh, as a member. 
let's add again a for net free so now it's again added to the team and the last command is to actually remove the team and since it actually doesn't really work I don't have any use for it I just wanted to test the commands so let's remove it and now we don't have any team anymore now again we have two normal network adapters but uh, in this short video you saw a run through of the most uh, used and useful I guess commands for a nick teaming that you may need to use in your automation if you enjoyed the video then I would appreciate a like and a share also consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one